ありがとうございました。What is going on, guys? Oil Baby Gaming here, back with another Heroes Legacy video. And today is going to be an action packed video for you guys. I'm going to be doing a showcase of all the legendary quirks that are in this game. As you can see, I have one for all in my toolbar right now. But I'm actually going to be saving that one for last. So, yeah, the game is out again. It's going to be receiving some frequent updates now. There's going to be more quests added soon. So, if you haven't played this game already, you guys should definitely try it out. Anyways, guys, don't forget to like. If you're new, subscribe, hit the notification bell, join my Discord. If you guys want to play with me, make sure you get one of the memberships. I'm going to be adding every single person who gets a membership on Roblox. We're going to be playing games together. When Shinobi Life 2 comes back, I'll help you guys in Shinobi Life 2. And if you're interested in playing Heroes Legacy, I'll let you join me in my private server. All right, guys, the first of the three legendary quirks that I'm going to be showcasing is going to be the Explosion Quirk. Now, if you guys don't already know, this is going to be Bakugo's Quirk. And the game does a pretty good job of making this quirk pretty authentic looking. But yeah, we get five moves with this one. Four of them are going to be attacks, and one of them is going to be the way Bakugo gets around, which looks like this. But yeah, guys, as you can see, it does look really good. Anyway, the first move of the explosion quirk is going to be AP shot. Looks like this. And that is an AOE attack, so if there's multiple targets, it's gonna hit them all. The next attack you get is the auto cannon. Looks like this. really nice all right guys the next attack you get with the explosion quirk is the grenade gear shot and that's gonna look like this all right guys now the last move you get with this is that mastery 250 but anyways, this is the last attack. This is called Howitzer Impact. It looks like this. That did some okay damage. For a grenade or shot, I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to aim it because it kind of drifts off to the side but how it's your impact is really nice to use and yeah guys Bakugo's quirk is pretty dope and the travel here is very accurate to what it's like in the show so yeah explosion quirk not bad at all the damage is definitely not the best, but you do get four attacks, so. All right, guys, the next quirk I'm gonna be showcasing is gonna be the half hot, half cold quirk. This, of course, is Todoroki's quirk. I spent like three million in game trying to get this quirk and I couldn't get it. I kept getting uh, one for all and explosion. So a huge shout out to Zeku for letting me uh, showcase this for you guys. All right, guys, so as you can see, you get five different moves. And the first thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be the ice glide. Here's what this looks like. But yeah, let's move on to the attacks. The first one is fireball. Here's what this looks like. That's actually really nice. It uh, activates the left side that one more time as you see there very nice all right guys the next move we get is a flamethrower 
and here's what this looks like and you can move this around that's pretty nice as well I missed like half of that honestly Alright guys, the next move we have is going to be an ice move. This is going to be the ice spikes. Here's what this looks like. And then the last move we get is the ice field. Holy crap, bro. And it can attack multiple targets, as you saw there. Now, I want to do a quick fight against Dobby. The health on this account is really low. So I'm going to have to be really careful. All right, boys, let's try that again. So obviously the damage on this is really good, but the health just isn't there. But yeah, half hot, half cold is definitely gonna be better than the explosion quirk, just because the moves are cleaner, the AOE is bigger, the damage is really good. The only thing that's better in explosion is the is how you get around. I think it's definitely faster on explosion. But yeah, overall, this quirk is really good. But yeah, now it's time to move on to the quirk you guys have probably been waiting for. It's time to showcase one for all. I think this game did one for all really well. As you can see, we have Texas Smash, Detroit Smash, Carolina Smash, and Plus Ultra. So let's go ahead and showcase this for you guys. First move we have is Texas Smash. That's what it looks like. As you can see, it has a pretty big area and it does look really nice. The next one is Detroit Smash. Here's what this one looks like. You can see the ground particles come up. Yes, sir. And the last attack we have is a Carolina Smash. It looks like this. As you can see, it's a powerful dash, basically. And then the last move we have is Plus Ultra. And this is one of the only games that I've played to have this kind of effect on One For All. So this is something really cool. But yeah, boys, let's go Plus Ultra. As you can see, you grow in size and you have this pretty cool aura all around you. On top of that, you're also really fast. This is the new walking speed. This is the new running speed. And then your jump is a lot higher. As you can see here, look at this. Basically clear this whole gap with a double jump. This is gonna help you get around the map a lot faster than usual. And apart from the speed boost, the jump boost, and the uh, visual effects, it also does um, more damage. This is probably the fastest way to get around the map right now. I think it's even faster than the uh, Fear Swing's Flight, honestly.
all right guys so those were the three legendary quirks that are in the game right now let me know in the comments below which one of the three you guys like the most which one did you think was the best and let me know how you think these could improve in the game my favorite visually is half hot half cold but my favorite overall is definitely one for all because of the uh because of the jump boost it helps you get around the map really really quickly and the moves do some pretty good damage especially when they are combined with stain's sword don't forget to like if you're new subscribe hit the notification bell join my discord don't sleep on those memberships hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys on the next one